I'm attempting to eat my height in Oreo cookies. The height of a regular Oreo cookie laying face down is about 10 millimeters. I'm five feet, nine inches tall, which means that my height in millimeters comes out to around 1,752 millimeters. Divide 1,752 millimeters by 10 millimeters and you get this, a lot of Oreo cookies. I'm gonna need a lot of milk for this food challenge. All right, folks, it is time to eat some Oreos. So my goal in this challenge is to eat my height in Oreos. I could have done just all regular Oreos, but I decided I wanted to spice it up, actually sweeten it up. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different flavors. The most Oreos I've ever eaten in one sitting was 100. So I have no idea how this challenge is gonna go. So I'm five foot nine which is around 1,752 millimeters. Divide that by 10 and you get 175 Oreos. I'm also gonna be doing a challenge inside of this challenge. I'm gonna warm up with 50 Oreos. After the first 50 are completed, I'm gonna set a six minute timer. And in that six minutes, I'm gonna attempt to take down 50 Oreos. If I can't take down the 50 Oreos in six minutes and I still have Oreos left over, for every second past the six minute mark, I'm gonna have to eat an additional Oreo in this challenge. And those Oreos are gonna be Oreos that I absolutely despise. Everyone, we all have Oreos that we love. We also all have Oreos that we absolutely despise. Now that that's out of the way, I think I should build my Oreo stack. Nothing like a fresh pack of Oreos. Let's just make a big pile of Oreos. How about that? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, we couldn't forget the gluten-free, all right? You cannot forget the gluten-free Oreos. Gosh, dude. All right, so. That is a lot of work. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five packs. Three or four cookies in that pack. Oh. Almost forgot two. 33 in that pack, 40 in that pack, 34 in that pack. All right, so this is 177 Oreo cookies right here. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take away 10 of the chocolate Oreos and add in 10 golden Oreos. Just because I feel like golden Oreos need to be included in this challenge, all right? All right, so 10 golden Oreos. I got the rest of the pack here, but I guess I'll just save that for my midnight snack. Anyways, everyone, now that that's out of the way, I think I'm ready to get this Oreo challenge officially started. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is me attempting to eat my height in Oreo cookies. Let's do this. I got my decaf coffee over here, and I also got my milk, all right? Don't worry, it's fat free. We want to get too crazy or anything. All right, everyone, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, one. That's OG chocolate. Okay. All right, we well. So far, it's going amazing. It's hard to go wrong with Oreos, right? Mm. Well, the first 25 went down pretty quickly. I know a lot of you are gonna go, Eric, how could you just start eating Oreos without pouring a glass of milk and dipping an Oreo in the milk first? My response to that is, well, I think coffee just, it sets the mood, all right? And that's just why I wanted to start with coffee. But now I'm gonna be done consuming some milk. Next 25 here. I am curious, what is your optimal dunking time for Oreos? For me, I try to leave it in as long as possible. That's what she said. I try to leave the Oreo in for as long as possible. Ooh. Ooh. Fifty Oreos have been tamed. I, I should have told you guys before, but without a doubt, the best Oreo on this table right now is the birthday cake. I mean, come on. All other Oreos are just, they're just not as good. I'll just say that. I'll be nice. Now that I've properly warmed up, I think it's time to get to the challenge inside of the challenge. What I think I'm gonna do, just because those Oreos took me a bit longer than I thought they were gonna take me, instead of trying to do 50 in five minutes, I think I'm gonna try to do 25 in five minutes. Oreos are hard to eat a lot of, and then they're even harder to eat 
fast. All right, so five minutes are going up on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 24, 25. All right, so 25 Oreos in five minutes. And for every second past the five minute mark, it's an additional Oreo that I have to eat. All right, here we go. Three, two, and All right, so about two minutes and 50 seconds left. My dilemma is, do I just waste time dunking these or do I eat them straight and mess up the roof of my mouth? A minute and a half left. 30 seconds left. All right, so that was a bit of a fail. I probably should have done a count up instead of a count down. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't able to get the 25 down in five minutes. I'm just gonna say that I that took me, let's we'll say 13 extra seconds. So I gotta eat 13 extra Oreos, which doesn't sound all that bad right now, but after all of that, it's probably gonna not be good. And what is the worst flavor of Oreos? Mint. Ugh. What's your worst flavor of Oreo that you've ever eaten? Comment down below. This is definitely mine. Swedish fish comes in at a close second. Lemon comes in after the Swedish fish at number three for the worst. All right, so we have 75 Oreos tamed. There's gonna be a while before I eat Oreos. I'm in desperate need of a palate change because these, these cookies are just destroying the roof of my mouth. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm not really all that different because you've probably seen me do this before, but if you haven't seen me do this before, I think you may know where I'm going with this. If you've never made your own Oreo cereal before, it's very, very easy. All you gotta do is take your Oreos like so, crush them up just like so, add them to a bowl of your choice, and then my friends and family, you have Oreo cereal. Delicious, just not so nutritious. Oh, all right, that hit the spot. Man, that was like a second wind. Whew. Right now it's time to get to our golden Oreos. I've actually been, I've been waiting. I've been holding off on these. W, oh. Man, golden Oreos just so good. All right, everybody. Well, you know, this is getting uh, this is getting pretty crazy. I think it's time for me to call in some reinforcements. Flavor fatigue is just a thing I deal with, and uh, it's unfortunate, but you know. Good thing there are things out in this world like ranch flavored Pringles that just come and save the day. Mmm, goodness, those are good. Everyone, these Oreos, man, they were good for the first five minutes, but yeah. Correctly, well, this flavor of tea is just, it is unreal. I gotta call in another reinforcement. Me and peanut butter. We're very good friends. Peanut butter on an Oreo, it is truly life-changing and it is the perfect blend of sweetness, saltiness, and all of the right combinations. All right, just, just, just like, oh, yes. 100,000% unnecessary, but delicious. Oh, and I got the no sugar added peanut butter too, so we're all good. Javi, <clears throat> oh. Twenty left. Just kidding. We forgot about the mint ones. So let's just get this over with. Oh, 
it smells like toothpaste. Oh, just gotta do it. Oh man, just do it here. Oh. Oh. Mm. We're good. Almost there. Almost there. Ooh. I really want to know where it is left. I really just have no words right now. All I can say is just there is no reason that a human being should ever eat this much Oreos. Yet here I am. You're all still here, you're still at the flow of the video, go ahead and comment gold down below because these golden Oreos, they were the stars of the show for this challenge. And just like that, my friends and family, that has been another food challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there along with the total macros. If you enjoyed this food challenge and wanna see more just like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I'm gonna go ahead and put another massive food challenge similar to this one right up there for you guys to enjoy along with another food challenge playlist that I have. If you enjoyed this, smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.